Hey, and welcome back to my channel, Eric's Commentaries. Um, normally, this channel is focused on commentaries about politics, economics, and you know, faith-based things related to the church. But I also realize that there's a lot of... Well, it, it's a very serious channel, generally. But uh, there's also a um, just kind of humorous aspect to the channel I haven't really thought of until now. So, everyone has seen the scammy looking products on social media, YouTube, or whatever. And some of them look kind of interesting, and some of them looked overpriced or whatever. But I got a couple of products, and I decided to make a playlist in this channel called uh, Scam or For Real. So, uh, whenever you. Uh, if you want to look at those videos, I mean, uh, they're going to include, first of all, an initial unboxing of the product. So, uh, if, uh, so I bought two products initially, and you'll be able to see the unboxing to and how they're going to look if you want them. But also, see me testing them, the quality, uh, if they work as uh, intended, as they state that they should be. Oh, pardon me. Uh, if they work as they state that they should be working or if um, they're just a total scam and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a box pretty soon and just label it my, my scam box so you know, just throw it away in the scam box unless of course um, one of the people who make these products think I'm somehow misrepresenting them and feel free to reach out to me um, but please if you like these videos and the playlist go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, click the notification bell, like the videos, all that, uh, all that stuff. Just please write down whatever kind of opinion you have underneath the video below, so that you know, everybody can share in this and see uh, what your experience is all with these hidden products. The first one I have is. This is the packaging that this product came in. Telescopic kind of thing. You may have seen the video, I don't think I'll show them to you later. Anyhow, I'm going to show if we can do this one handed. This is my unboxing. First time I've ever seen it. I, this is the first time I've ever showed it to anybody. So, here you go. So, comes with the mount. The mount is for your, your smartphone, I believe. Yeah, expands out to the smartphone. So, comes with that. This, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's like a tripod. I really need to figure out how I'm going to make this work so that I have two hands available for it. Yeah, there's your tripod. So, have the mount for the phone, the tripod, and that is going to connect to this. Now I'm not going to test it right now. It's just it's too late for me on my time. It's going up to nine over to nine o'clock, and frankly, it won't see much. But it comes in this package. Got it mainly for my wife at home school, so she can you know, have it for the kids to use for her and the kids to use. So, I'll unwrap it. Got to try not to make it so shaky. So, it has a 10 times or 300 times magnification. See? 10. See we can, there you go. 10 and 300. So, has various degrees, 
And tomorrow, I'll set it up. Try to set it up with the cell phone mount so that, uh, so that basically it's gonna be like where the camera is set up right here. To where the camera's set up and, and then the phone can look through it and even record images supposedly at high speed. Now, it looks, or not high speed, but high distance. Now, it looks like it's actually pretty decent shape. I'm not much of an expert on those things, but it just, it, it looks like it's decent. So, let me see if it comes with a manual. Hopefully it does. And it looks like it's, well, kind of. Got this, which is gonna be your lanyard. This is a cloth for the actual lens. And, Here's the instruction manual. Rather limited, but I guess you don't need a whole lot when it comes to a telescoping kind of thing. Anyways, so um, there you go. That's the unboxing. This is what, how it looks like when it comes out. And supposedly you can see hyperfar like miles. But we'll we'll check that out uh, tomorrow and uh, yeah, have some fun with it. Okay, see that. Hey, welcome back to, uh, uh, to this video about this telescope. So, just a second. This is the, basically all the pieces and stuff. I am going to do my best to assemble them so that the pieces make sense. And, um, Yeah, I'll try to figure out how, how all this, uh, this stuff is supposed to work. It's supposed to be that your smartphone fits in here and then somehow the eyepiece, I guess. I guess that the camera is supposed to fit in here somehow. So we'll see. So in going through the various pieces of this, I noticed that there's a few main components to this. Now, this, uh, this eyepiece, the, the actual main piece, has a little part right here with a screw uh, for the tripod can get there, but the, tri the tripod's kind of weak. You might be able to extend them out, uh, the various legs, to give yourself a little more stability, but for the most part it's kind of weak. Now this is obviously for the smartphone, so depending on how you want to have it to where your smartphone faces like this way or the other way, it basically you have to put it in a position where your camera will uh, look through there. So, but for right now, I actually want to test out this thing without the camera on here and see as to how well it goes. So if I can, I'll try and get it, I'll try and show you guys through a little recording of it. So this is what it looks like with the uh, attachment of that on it. Not the best right over here, but I got that full magnification and I'm trying to find something that would really reinforce if this is good or not for you. So I'm going to look at uh, this. To me those are not far enough to really justify this. That tree right of it, I don't know how far away it is, but at the very least it's something to look at. See I'm holding this up, my tripod is not even working. My tripod would not work. It couldn't keep up with the uh, with the sheer weight of this. I know I'm I know I'm getting a, a little fuzzy there. I'm trying to zoom this again or focus it. Now, in theory, this thing's supposed to be able to see the moon. Whether or not I I can see that, I don't know. But for right now. You'll have to make, oh, sorry. There we go. Let's see if I can tighten that thing down a bit more so that doesn't happen. See, the problem is that it's being held in by the little eye thing it's got over here. So it makes it not really held in by anything other than a cheap plastic eyepiece. 
But you're obviously seeing the recording of this. So you're gonna have to determine for yourself what you think of it. I can honestly say that given what it's being supposedly said about what it can do, this doesn't really seem like a scam to me. But if you're using your phone for yourself, you might be able to use the zoom feature on your phone to go even that much further. Now I'm zooming out, let me see if I can zoom back in. See, this is as far as I've been able to get so far with it. Now I'm just focusing it. That's not too bad. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this thing to zoom in. That is that much better, because there, there is no image stabilization on this at all. I'm doing the pinch thing on my phone, but... There's no appear to be working all the way. You probably could do that with different photos, but at the very least, let me see if I can increase the magnification on my phone. Doesn't appear to be so. Anyways, if this is about the best of the furthest distance now. For a reference, I'm going to zoom out. And that's pretty much how it looks. Zoom in. I don't know if this can see the moon, but at the very least, it's you have to find that out on a on one of those types of days. So, okay, there you go. I can't say if it's a scam or not in terms of this. It works, at least as far as I can tell from the magnification. But here. So, this, I'm going to take it out of the eyepiece, just to see what it looks like. The two pieces don't actually... This is what it looks like. It's not bad, especially for 24 bucks, so... But this, let me get it so it's a little bit less awkward here. Okay, now we're back to something better. This is a little bit better in terms of how well it goes overall. So, is it a scam? We'll have to say, the only way to really tell that is by looking at something that's multiple miles away. I don't think that's what I was looking at was multiple miles away. In fact, I probably think it just had basic magnification. This is how it looks. And it comes with the manual that I showed you. So, is it a scam? I cannot honestly say that it is a scam, so it's real. Does it see out as far as we think it's, that it's advertised to? Only time will tell. We'll have to find out until there's a full moon to be able to tell that. But this is the information I can give you. Is it a scam or not? Yeah, it's real. So, uh, hope that was helpful. And uh, if you want, the, the, the link that they have on there is pretty bad. It, it basically charges you 80 bucks for the thing. But if you look below, I'm going to see if I can put down my Amazon affiliate link for it to buy the thing for $24, which is considerably better than the 80 something dollars that they want to charge you for this. But there you go. And hope you like it. I'm going to be uh, hopefully making a habit of these kinds of videos. But I need you guys to subscribe to make it worth my while to do so. So please go ahead and if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button down there. If you're on Twitter, go ahead and then follow my channel. Uh, at least 500 on Twitter. Um, so let's go ahead and make this work. Okay, bye.